Hello, my name is Greg Endress. I work as an extension agronomist at the Carrington Research Extension Center. Uh, at the center, we have a, a living weed exhibit. And so it, within the exhibit, we have grassy weeds in one line. And uh, I'd like to talk about uh, some identification features of a half a dozen of our common grassy weeds. Uh, before I get to the weeds, I have a barley plant that I'm holding because I want to talk about some of the basic characteristics on grassy weed identification. So with barley, it has what's known as oracles. They're little extensions of the base of the leaf that go around the, the stem. And so that's one thing to look for uh, in the collar area of grasses. Also, the wild oats has a membranous ligule. It's sometimes called a rain catcher. And it's a little extension um, that's at the base of the leaf. In addition, uh, we'll look at other things such as hairiness or lack of hairs on the leaves or on the stem. And we also uh, look at the, the roundness or flatness of the stem. And that can give us some clues on, on identifying our grassy weeds. With the, the grassy weeds, I'll start with wild oats. Uh, wild oats is uh, an annual weed. It emerges early in the season because it likes the cool weather and also likes uh, very good soil moisture. In comparing the, the wild oats to the barley, they both will have a membranous ligule. However, wild oats will lack the oracles that we saw with the, the barley. Most of the time there will be some sparse hairs on the edge of the leaf closest to the, to the base of the leaf closest to where it's attached to the stem. So if you see long hairs on the edge of the leaf at the base, uh, that would be a clue as well. Um, otherwise, that's it for hares on wild oats. Uh, another secondary feature is looking at the, the way that the leaves twist. Uh, oftentimes, they'll have a counterclockwise twist, and that can be a, a, a secondary way to confirm that it is wild oats and not some of the other grassy weeds that we'll talk about. Next, I'd like to talk about the pigeon grass, or with more detail, they're actually referred to as foxtail. And we have two species of foxtail, uh, yellow and green. There's a couple of similar characteristics between the two. Uh, they both lack oracles, and they both have hairy ligules instead of the, the wild oat or the barley, which have the membranous ligule. But there are some characteristics that we can use to distinguish the two foxtails. And so we'll, we'll start with yellow foxtail. Yellow foxtail will have very long hairs at the base of the leaf where it's connected to the stem. So that's one difference because green foxtail will lack long hairs um, on the, the leaves uh, as well as the stem. Sometimes there are some very sparse short hairs in the collar area, but typically they're, they're not uh, visible. And then another uh, characteristic with yellow foxtail is that it has a flattened stem as compared to green foxtail that has a rounded stem. So those two features, the long hairs at the base of the leaf on yellow foxtail and having a flattened stem would be the two best ways to distinguish yellow from green foxtail. The next pair of grassy weeds I like to talk about are winter annuals and they are downy brome and Japanese brome. Both of these weeds are very difficult to control in our, our cereal crops, in particular in winter wheat, because winter wheat has the same biology as, as these two weeds because they, they also are winter annuals. So when we look at ways to distinguish the two, especially from other, other grassy weeds, uh, then it's pretty easy. Um, with both of these, they lack oracles and they have membranous ligules. And we can actually differ between the two based on the ligules, but in the field it's probably not very practical. But as a, a point of information, the, the downy brome will have a little bit longer and more jagged ligule as compared to the Japanese brome. But in the field, there's two very easy ways to distinguish the two of them. And, and number one is it's based on the, the type of hair that's present on the, on the leaves and on the stems. Uh, with downy brome, it'll have very short, 
dense hairs, in particular on the leaves. And sometimes it's referred to as having a crew cut appearance. And so it is different compared to Japanese brome, which typically will have more denser hairs. And you can actually see that on these plants, on the stems, as well as on the leaves. So the, the hairs are more dense and actually longer as compared to downy brome. And then at this point of the season, the plants are heading because they are winter annuals. And then when we see the, the seed production, uh, you can s clearly see differences between the, the two uh, brome grass species. With the downy brome, it has much more of an open panicle. And so very easy to distinguish as compared to the Japanese brome that has what we call more of a closed panicle. In fact, the individual seed heads will have a bit of a cigar shape to them, a rounded tubular shape. So again, when they get to this point, it's easy to identify, but the plants will be very difficult to control at this stage. The last grass weed that I like to talk about is barnyard grass. Uh, sometimes it's referred to as water grass because it likes uh, wetter conditions compared to some of our other grasses that we've talked about. On identifying barnyard grass, it's lacking things that some of the other grasses earlier discussed uh, have. So with barnyard grass, it lacks the oracles, it also lacks the ligule, and it lacks hairs. What it does have is a flattened stem, so this could be confused with yellow foxtail. However, it does not have the long hairs like yellow foxtail at the base of the leaves. Sometimes, and actually oftentimes, it will have a reddish color at the base, especially as, as it gains a, a little more growth. But don't use that as your primary characteristic because some of the other grasses will have a reddish color as well, especially if they're stressed. In addition with barnyard grass, as it gains some, some growth, it will have oftentimes a prostrate growth to it or, or quite flattened. And that is another secondary cue that it's, it's not foxtail or, or wild oats or, or other grassy weeds. Mm -hmm.